Hello, friends. Today we're going to talk about the craving of your taste buds, that is pizza. In this video, you're going to know everything you want to know about the love of your life. No, I'm not talking about your life partner, but for some people, it's really their topmost craving. That's pizza. No doubt, it can be defined as a savory dish of Italian origin, road, flattened base of leaf and wheat based dough, topped with tomatoes, cheese, and various other ingredients baked at higher temperature, traditionally in a wood fired oven, or more precisely, a basic flatbread with several toppings. Now you'll be wondering that how I pronounce this word pizza. Well, it sounds something like this. Pizza. It's not what your Asian aunt and the neighborhood say. Pizza. Nor is pizza. All you do is just to make a sound of T instead of Z in the middle and then say Z. So it sounds like pizza. Not pizza. Nor pizza. It's pizza. Now we're going to talk about the story and how it originated. So it all started in 7,000 years ago when Sardinia, Italy, when the Queen Margarita ordered and was served a flat round bread with the topping of cheese and sauces by one of her servants, Esposito. Later on, it became a sensational craving for everyone in Italy and it spread throughout the Rome. When it dates back to the Neolithic age, which is known as Stone Age, since it began, the ancient Greeks adopted it as and named it as Blackos. In 6th century, the Persian king Darius ordered his servants to bake the same bread with the same ingredient, but this time he added the tomato, and this rendition of tomato just resulted in the beginning of the modernity of pizza. In 997 AD, just before the Second World War, when in Gaeta, that was about 10th century, central southern Italy, in 18th century, the addition of tomato in the focaccia, which is known to be precursor of pizza, that was originated in the Roman Empire Byzantine, who used to make pizza when the soldiers were ran out of their fill and the fill of bad pizza, and it was also known as panis focaccius, which later in the 18th century proved to be in Naples the widespread of modern pizza. Pie was the origin of the dish as well. It used to be a round dish with filled up toppings, but there was no topping in the pie. Whereas in pizza, there are no fillings and just the toppings. So that's how it originated from pie. That is pie, pizza. Now we'll talk about the types of pizza and how it varies in each type. There are many types of pizza. But the famous ones are, the first one is Neapolitan, which originated in the 18th century in Naples. It has three variations through which it can be sorted out. The first one is Marinara, second one is Margarita, and the third is Margarita Extra. It is usually eaten with a fork and knife, as if it's thin. And it bakes at 800 to 1000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures, the timing for 7 to 90 seconds in wood burning oven. Wood burning ovens are traditionally used for this purpose for so long. Now comes the other style that is the Chicago pizza. It dates back to the 19th century from the Italian immigrants who rested in Chicago for so long that they resulted in the, their traditional dish to be adopted by the people of Chicago and which is often known as the Chicago Pizza, which shows its history by itself. It's, it has a thick crust in compared to the Neapolitan Pizza, which has a thin crust. And it takes 30-35 minutes for the baked time. There is the addition of a tomato sauce in this pizza. Then comes New York style, 
which is somewhat similar to the Chicago pizza. The Sicilian pizza is another one, but it takes back to the Italia. The fifth style is the Greek style pizza, which is another rendition of the pizza. Now we're going to talk about the flavors of pizza and how is it available in that. The most famous flavors that are available in pizza are pepperoni, berry aglu and prosecuted pizza, mac and cheese, butternut, squash and crispy sage pizza, cantaloupe and sweet ricotta pizza, hummus and drilled zucchini, chicken alfredo pizza, taco quesadilla pizza, Turkish ground lamb, the brands available in pizza, Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Donato's Pizza, Happy Joe's Pizza and Ice Cream, Z Pizza, in how many sizes are, is pizza available? And if we talk about from the smallest one, that is called a personal pan pizza, and it measures till 8 inches. Small pizza, 10 inches. Medium pizza, 12 inches. Large pizza, 14 inches. Extra large pizza, 16 inches. And the New York style pizza is 18 inches big. Now guys, we'll talk about some frequently asked questions I asked to my friends that what do you think about pizza and they came up with the following questions. The first question is why pizza is only round? Why not on other shapes? Pizza dough is also stretched by spinning the lump of dough in air which takes advantage of centrifugal force causing it to become a round shape. Second question is, why does it come in a square box when it's a self round? The square boxes are much cheaper than the circular ones. The third question is, why the pieces are always cut in triangular shape? Well, there is a scientific logic because if we're holding a thin crust pizza, so definitely it's gonna pull back all the gravity and the matter and the toppings will take place and it's way too much so you won't be handling that in that case you gotta put you gotta place your fingers to the thick part of that piece and then you just drag it to your face and bring it and then you chew it and enjoy last question is who in the world thought of pizza for the first time it was Esposito, as I talked about, who served Queen Margarita the pizza as said Margarita pizza. I hope you people enjoyed this video and will subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative videos for other topics as well. And if you want us to make any video regarding any topic, your topics so we'll make and we'll keep that in our mind we'll make it a video for the next time so take care like our video share it with your friends and enjoy taste of pizza